Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, create a new sprite. You're actually going to make one. So we click on the create, just like a little brush. And the first thing we're going to do is we are going to make the paddle. And the paddle is a rectangular box. Uh, it doesn't really matter what color you choose. We choose the rectangle and then we draw it. And you'll notice it's way too big. It needs to be a lot smaller. So we're going to reduce the size by dragging these handles, which you find on the circumference uh, on the edges of the box. Okay, make sure that you position your box right in the middle. Okay, it's gotta be positioned in the middle, otherwise you're gonna have some inaccuracies in your game. You can zoom in a bit, let's resize and make it even smaller, and that should go right in the middle. Okay, so now we've got our paddle, that needs to go to the bottom, because this is the paddle we're gonna control uh, in order for to prevent this whole ball going past it. And you should know the scripts or the blocks that we're going to use. It is uh, when green flag is pressed, uh, you can use it forever, and you are going to use the move. Because what we want to do is we want to move the paddle left and right. So we're going to use the move key. Okay. And we are going to make sure that we now have if key pressed option, which is further down by the sensing. So if key pressed, it needs to sense which key you are pressing. So these are the main ones we're going to use. Uh, we're always going to have an if, so if key is pressed, then move here. So let's put it all together. You should know this from previous sessions. Okay, and we're going to put that in the forever loop. Click start and I'm pressing the space bar by the way because it says if space bar pressed, I want to see if it's actually working. So I'm going to duplicate it, slot it in, and then I'm going to make my changes. I'm going to say uh, right arrow and the number is going to be plus 10, and I'm going to say left arrow. And this time it's going to be minus 10 because I want it to move backwards. So it's going to move left and right. So let's test that quickly and see if that, if that will work. Okay, so left and right, excellent. It's working. All right, so um, we're gonna change the speed a little bit. I'm gonna reduce the speed, and in actual fact, I might speed it up a little bit later. But this is just to show you, you can make adjustments, uh, big adjustments, or what I think is a big adjustment, or you can make even tiny adjustments by putting decimal numbers and so on, just so that it suits uh, what you're trying to achieve from your game. Okay, now what we want to prevent is we want to prevent the paddle being moved accidentally upwards or downwards. So we're going to put a script in here to say to Scratch, make sure that this, where my paddle is now at the bottom of the screen, this is where I want it to be. So I am going to say set Y2, and we're going to set it to a particular value of minus 164, and then X can change, the X value can change, but the Y value will always take it automatically to that position. And I think later in this tutorial, we will move the script up and down as well. We're gonna move it up and down. Okay, so next stage, or the next step, is to create the ball. Same process, we select the circle, choose your color, and actually we're gonna change the color later, depending on the color of your background, but you can choose a color to start with, and we are going to Select it, and again, I think it's a bit big, so we're going to make it smaller, make sure it's a circle, and we're going to reposition it right in the middle, make sure it's right in the middle, so zoom in if you need to, control button, and use your mouse rollerball, and that will help you to zoom in and out, or you can zoom in on the right hand side. Okay, so now we have um, our ball, we're going to rename this quickly, and I would like you to put your name, and then ping pong. Okay, you know, put ping pong one because we're going to create different ones. We're just going to start off by creating a quite nice and simple one, one that works. Okay, so now the ball needs to move around automatically. So again, so when green flag pressed, um, I'd like you to move. And we're obviously going to say if on edge uh, bounce because obviously inside this game area, when it hits the sides of the, of the uh, gaming area, it needs to bounce off the walls. We're going to again have our forever loop and this time 
or the last one, sorry, is if on edge, bounce. All right, so we'll put that together. Uh, move, if on edge, bounce, and there we go. Now, again, the problem that we had last time is that potentially it can just go left and right and left and right. So actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna dictate which direction it's going to move. And we, I want it to move, I want the ball to move upwards because that gives the player time to sort of react. If it moves straight down, especially if, the, if it moves fast, the player might not react. And that's fine if it's later stage in the game, but at the beginning you want it to be nice and easier. So we're gonna say, first of all, we want the ball to go to the middle of the screen, roughly the middle. I think maybe slightly higher up, but in terms of x, x is going to be 0. And the y value, we're going to make it 0, just to see where uh, the middle is. And there's the middle of the screen, but we're going to make it um, move up a little bit higher. And we can check the height by actually moving um, the ball upwards if we want. Um, but anyway, we can just use a number, 40 seems good. So 0 and 40. And what we're going to say this time is the ball has to move upwards. So we're going to say point and direction. Okay. And when we say point and direction, we can choose which direction the ball has to point before it starts moving. And we can choose a number. Now the problem here is we can only choose one number. So we can choose like the number 45. And we can test that. And you will see it will always go at a 45 degree angle. So quite predictable will always go to 45 degree angle. So what we'd like to introduce into the game is actually that it chooses a direction to go into, but a random direction, okay, a random. So this is a new block that we're gonna use. And the new block is going to say point and direction. And we're gonna say choose random, but I wanted to choose between two sets of values. So we're gonna choose two blocks here. We're gonna say pick random and we're going to say between a certain number and another number. Okay. And now, we've got to think about this carefully because I wanted to go upwards. So basically, a little bit just above the horizontal. Now, if I put the number um, 270, what it will do is it will... Well, actually, you can have a look at what it's going to do, but it's actually going to be incorrect because it chooses the numbers between 10 and 285. Uh, so basically, it's going to be downwards, slightly left, maybe between 75 and 90, but the rest is going to be downwards. If I test that, it's going to go down. So what I actually need to do is I need to say to uh, scratch. Okay, I need to change this. We're going to say it minus 75 because minus 75 is if you go from zero and you go left, it's just above the 270 degree uh, angle. So minus 75 and set plus 75. And if we test it now, you will see that it will go, always go upwards. doesn't matter which one I press. So it chooses a, a position on the screen where it starts and then chooses a random direction upwards um, for it to move. Okay, so that seems to be working. Brilliant, so now we've got the paddle moving left and right, and we've got the ball, the ball moving around randomly. So what we need to create now is we need to create a, an area underneath the paddle, which will um, 